is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be watching the state of play for May 9th. I'm excited, we're gonna get our first look at Medieval, see gameplay. I think we saw like a little snippet of it back at that P PlayStation experience, back when they were just sitting on the couches and they didn't have that much to show. So I'm pretty excited that we're gonna see more of it here. And it, since it's just going to be 10 minutes, I don't know what else we're going to see. Um, they said they were going to do a deep dive and there was going to be um, more of an unannounced game that they were going to show as well. So let's dive in. It should be starting soon and see what the hell they're going to show us today. Okay, it's starting. Oh, I don't have my headphones on. I don't have my headphones on. Boom. Should put the headphones on. Rating E to 10. Okay. Hey. Hey, do you hear that? Is this Monster Hunter? Is it the wind? No, that's not it. Is that? Monster Hunter, more Monster Hunter War. <sighs> Capcom presents. This is a DLC. Monster Hunter is cool. I'm glad that it's starting with Monster Hunter. So that's what we're getting. Monster Hunter Medieval. And that's it. Like. If that's the case, just drop the trailers rather than, you know, put them together. actually looks pretty cool. I'm not the huge Monster Hunter guy. World was my favorite due to the fact on how more easily it controlled and felt. But I haven't played World since it came out. And this looks more the same, but in a different environment, it looks beautiful though. And this guy that they're fighting looks crazy. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a, a Gatling gun for a second. Pull into a cave. Unidentified tracks are cropping up all over the new world. It's having an incredible effect on other life in a new world. These okay. spikes, are they from? Yup, they're from that. <laughs> My son is a bat. Jesus Christ. Ooh, I love when they fight. Ooh. Everyone thought it was just a mere myth, but there it is. The blue eyes, white dragon. Kana. Iceborn. Okay, because you Dragonborn was taken already from Skyrim, so. <laughs> uh huh? Yeah, homie. <laughs> They had an ending queue. Oh, we got a date. Did was this new? The date? In September 6th. Woo! Welcome back to State of Play. Today we're Welcome keeping it back. short and sweet with a new look at some of our most anticipated upcoming okay. PS4 games. Short and sweet. Right before Check out E3? Capcom's official stream right after this broadcast to find out more about the icy setting, new story, and new okay. monsters that await. Okay, there's plenty more to get to. This next game is a Minecraft? frantic take on dungeon crawling. Let's take a look. Minecraft dungeon? Three D dot dungeon? <laughs> Shoot and slash everything. 
four-player couch co-op. That sounds like a great Nintendo Switch game. Awesome destruction. It looks beautiful too. Adventure with friends. Introducing eight crossover skins. What? From where? Oh, Psychonauts show them. Okay. Oh, so you went and got all your MD friends from Guacamole, right? I don't know who this guy is. Shovel Knight, obviously. Of course. That's cool. You went and got all your, your favorite MD friends and Riverbond heads got to the PlayStation in the game. Store cool. this summer. Now let's check out a new project from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. Okay. Is this Uncharted? Don't do this to me, Sony. What is this? Don't tell me this is Metal Gear. Predator Hunting Grounds? The hunt begins 2020? Predator Hunting Grounds is an online, asymmetrical, multiplayer shooter that pits a fire team against the stealthy killing machine. Il okay. is handling development in close partnership Il with Fox, due out on PS4 That's the, next um, year. PlayStation Blog has more details. That's the um, fucking Up next, Friday the, the 13th, remake guys. of Medieval, which is officially coming to PS4 this That's cool. Fall. That's cool. That's cool. That's they really cool. in the kingdom of Galamir. A sorcerer named Zerok. He raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm. Yeah, this sounds so Daniel classic already. Led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And then the sorcerer returned. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to defeat Zarak. There we go, that's what I'm gonna see. Gameplay, gameplay. Okay. They're keeping the same gameplay. A chance to forget the okay. noble truth. And live up to the legend. Cause this is kind of what we want. It looks good! <laughs> we just want that spiral, that crash reignited trilogy. Done on many rooms. And it looks like they're giving us that. It's not looking like they changed it too much. Ooh, yes. Okay. Medieval looks like medieval. We won't have to wait long to play it. Medieval returns this fall on PS4. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so now happy. Now let's take a look at a truly original new game that's coming to PS4. Truly original new game. This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. What the fuck? <laughs> Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks the land of great danger for some and opportunities for others. What is Our this? World has changed. To survive, we too must change. What? This looks good. This looks dope. As weird as it is? Will you have what it takes to survive? Away. 
You're a fucking squirrel. <laughs> it looks beautiful though. It looks dope actually. Okay. Your mission is simple. Survive natural disasters and find your way to sanctuary. All right. No way. Okay. Let's shift gears. We've got a first look at an upcoming limited edition PS4 system. Let's take That's a look. That's it, right? There's one more thing left at this. Oh. Switching gears. A system. God. Special edition collectors are going to go crazy for this one, right? And all it is is a PlayStation. The limited edition Days of Play PlayStation 4 in Steel Gray will be available for a limited time in Steel Gray. Days of Play. The event kicks off in June. Keep your eyes peeled. I gotta see it in person. We're almost out of time, but before we go, we wanted to give you a new look at a long-awaited game. A long-awaited game. <laughs> oh, yes! What? Yes! They're showing it! Oh! Oh my god. Yes. Oh, with gameplay? So, what's your Oh my god. That's easy enough. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Ooh, I'm glad you're back, baby. Here. This is for you. Thank you. I'll take it. Yes, let's go! Let's go! Woo! to see the planet suffer cloud yes <laughs> let's go date if they show more to come in june okay it final was. fantasy 7 remake <laughs> re-envisions one of the most beloved games of all time for the ps4 generation let's go we can't wait to see more well, that's a wrap on State of Play. We've got lots more in store for you later this year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That was perfect. That was, that was, that was Gucci. That was perfect State of Play. Perfect, nice, short, stick the knife in and twist it at the end and make sure when he pulled it out it dragged something out with it jesus christ that was dope as fuck that was pretty cool we got uh, a lot of bullshit in the beginning excuse me monster hunter fans but monster hunter and not my cup of tea alongside with um what was the other shit that they showed the dungeon crawdo again filler the, the predator shit was cool hunting grounds sounds pretty dope um, the medieval stuff looked more like medieval. It looks good. I'm definitely going to pick it up just because of the nostalgia factor. But that's what this is looking looking like, a nostalgia itch. And it looks like they're hitting the, the all and all cylinders on that front and actually bringing something that's coherent and that looks like it's going to be worth the pickup. You know what I'm saying? If you have that itch for a medieval game. Um, away blew me fuck away it's a fucking squirrel bat looking creature that you play with and it's again it's, it's one of those things that i was just like not expecting at the same time when they did show it it presented itself in a way higher you know level than i was expecting days of play the the console i'm not too hyped for it you know if you got a ps4 then you, why would you get another one but i know collectors are gonna go crazy for those obviously the cherry on top the Final Fantasy VII trailer, yes. It's like we've been waiting for anything on this and then we're finally getting um, some cinematics, some gameplay, which is kind of worrisome because everything does look like it's in the beginning of the game. They did announce that this was gonna be an uh, episodic game when they first announced this game, which is again worrying some if they just still are just showing us the beginning, mind you, um, some of the stuff looks like it could be from later on. I'm not too sure. The Sephiroth scene, I'm not sure if he shows up in that initial um, train sequence uh, in the beginning when you're just bombing the place. I haven't played it in so fucking long. Final Fantasy VII. I need to get it on the Switch and just, just retread it. But yeah, this shit looks so fucking good, Mike. Woo!
Woo, the music, everything was just... Thank you, Lord. And then we get more in June. Yes. And and that's that's just to say that um we're gonna get more rollout for this game. Kinda like what we've been getting with um Kingdom Hearts 3. How they were just rolling out small little bitty trailers, trailers, trailers until the game release. And I think that's what they're gonna do right now. This is literally Square Enix's besides Avengers only game that is kinda like announced as a big headstone title everything is out as far as kingdom hearts as far as final fantasy 15 7 is next a remake that's been announced like years ago now like almost five years ago now that they're finally bringing it out like yo this is coming out on p4 this is coming out soon we're gonna get you guys gonna get more info on it and it's looking like you know it might be a 20 i don't want to say 2019 game a 2020 early 2020 game if anything which is i'm excited for i can't wait i can't wait let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this state of play everything that we've seen all these trailers are pretty good um despite the the i would say the lackluster ones had have been medieval and uh, um what is it uh, the the fucking dungeon crawler one um but everything else i mean even those the presentations on them were pretty good and was pretty solid for for even someone like me that's not a huge fan of those stuff um you know i'm very i'm very happy sony is stepping into this realm of like these short direct style videos hopefully they get better at it and this is just proof in the pudding that yeah they listened to our feedback on the first one and they got better because this shit was right on the mark let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything inside of this state of play and which games are you most excited for obviously me has to be final fantasy and medieval as well i'm gonna cop that as well let me know your thoughts on everything peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one